Good morning, everybody. For those of you that have been following along, the all five of you, <laughs> you'll notice some changes have been taking place in the room here. Uh, we do have the 20 amp system finally hooked up and running. 200 watts worth of panels are up there on the roof. It's powering uh, the golf cart batteries, which is charging my DeWalt battery. But been using this battery monitor for a couple days now, week or so, I guess. Nice display. Um, not a good deal if you want to hook it up and check with your phone. Uh, if you do a dedicated line to it like this, I took one of my old cell phones and hooked it up to Bluetooth, and it's dedicated to it alone. There are some cool features. You can use the graph here. It plots for the day. Uh, the little blips here on this end, that's every time my sump pump is turned on. Uh, but it plots, and this was yesterday. You can see we had partly cloudy day there in the middle. Cloud sun, cloud sun, cloud sun. Kind of cool if you dig that kind of thing. Uh, so not a complete waste of $40, but as a independent battery monitor where you're going to use your phone to check your batteries at any given time from anywhere in your house, not going to work. Uh, I had to constantly come down here and disconnect and reconnect it from the batteries to make it... Uh, reset so my phone could find it um if you're going to use a single dedicated phone like i did uh works fine uh, i've been doing that for a couple days now and the graph thing's kind of cool so i mean i guess it wasn't a total waste of 40 bucks but it wasn't great he says hey uh but this is up and running at the moment everything started fresh it's early This one's actually handing, handling the outside lights now. That's what this load right here is. Uh, then we'll step over here to the original system, and it's still doing what it's doing. Um, we're at 76 kilowatts. We're getting there. Uh, it's putting down just shy of 10, and it is just shy of 9. So not a bad solar day out there. But yes, that's it. That's where we're at at the moment. I'd still like a 300 amp hour lithium ion to replace those. Uh, and then I'd get probably a 2500 watt, no, 2000 watt inverter for that 300 amp hour lithium ion battery. And then I would uh, hook that up to the refrigerator upstairs on good sunny days. Uh, I need another two amp out, 200 amp hours for this one there. They're down to 704 delivered to the house, and down another 50 bucks, I'll buy one. Uh, we can get it for 650. Uh, I'll have two of those, and I'll have my 400 amp hours ready for that. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Is solar worth it in central Illinois? Well, I've upgraded enough, and we now have 600 watts here in the house, and uh, it's working out wonderfully at the moment. Have a good day, everybody.